So guys, this one's gonna sound a bit weird, but hear me out. When working with students, I always try to make them get more questions wrong. And when they miss nothing, I'm just like, and I know what you're thinking. What the heck is wrong with this guy? Are all your students paying you to get a lower score or something? Well, here's the thing. I got the perfect score on the math section back in high school and I have helped over hundreds of other students to do the same and this works every single time. Let me explain. So I'll be breaking this video down into three separate parts. First, I'm going to explain to you the problem with getting these questions right. And I'll explain to you the benefits of getting these questions wrong. And third, we'll talk about how it all applies to you so that you can start implementing this in your studying routine. So it's gonna take me a hot second to explain all this. And if you can't focus for the next couple minutes, then you can just keep getting questions right and not get to your target score. So before we get started guys, go down below, smash the like button, and let's get started with today's video. You see, the problem with getting these questions right is that it's fake. What? Let's say there's this question that took you about five minutes to solve. And at the end of the day, you eventually got it right. But technically, you didn't get it right. You see, it's just that you happen to have five minutes to spare on a single question on this exam. But you might not have that luxury on your next exam. The problem here is that no question on the SAT should ever take you five minutes to solve. And if it does, you are definitely doing something wrong. But because you got it right, but because you got the question right, you will think less of that question and just move on to your next exam. That leaves a problem. But because you got the question right, you will think less of that question and just go straight into your next exam, thinking that you actually got that question right. And here's another one. This one actually happens a lot. It's where you have this question where you have guessed on the question. Like you feel like you know what to do, feel like you know how to solve this question, but on the back of your head, you're thinking, ah, I'm not sure if that's the right thing to do, but I'm just going to do it anyways. And somehow when you're grading the exam, you get that question right. Now, most people, including myself back in high school, would not go back to that question because I mean, I got the question right. Ain't nobody got time for that. You have all these other questions to look at and that question, one that you got right, is just one less thing I need to worry about because I got the question right. You see, taking five minutes to solve a single question on the SAT and half guessing on some of these questions is actually a major problem. And because you got the question right, because you got those questions right, you end up just ignoring it and just not fixing this problem. And that's the problem with getting these questions right. The benefit of getting the questions wrong is that it tells you, it pinpoints exactly what your problems are and what you need to work on next. But there's one problem. We don't like getting things wrong. See, we tend to associate getting questions wrong with bad negative things. And it's true when you're taking the official SAT and when it actually counts, but it's the other way around when you're, when you're preparing for the SAT. Every time you miss a question, you're getting one step closer to your target score because it tells you, it pinpoints exactly what your weaknesses are and what you need to work on. Your smart friend who got a 1600 on his first SAT, dude, he definitely failed a thousand times before he got there. And Thomas Edison, who invented the light bulb, he failed 999 times before he succeeded on his thousandth try. Did you know that? I didn't know that. But what matters is that now he's remembered as the man who invented the light bulb. If there's one thing to take away from this video, is that you will be remembered for your successes, not your failures. And in order for you to succeed, you must fail a few times on the way. So don't be afraid to fail. Don't be afraid of getting these questions wrong because it's part of the natural process. It's normal. What you need to do is keep on getting these questions wrong and start learning from them. And that's what's going to take you to your target score. So that's going to be it. Take it easy. I'll see you on the next video.